Today I happened to run into Senator Tripp Pittman that was in Dothan, and you're over the uh, General Fund Committee and used to be over the Budget, I mean the Education Committee, correct? Yes, sir. Exactly. That's right. It's great to be in Dothan you know, late this afternoon, uh, getting ready for the farm week and uh, all the good things that are going on in this area of the, of the wiregrass, all the hardworking people that, uh, that make the economy go every day. And you've had several meetings with some people today, talking to them about different issues facing the state? Correct. I've talked with uh, Senator Harry Ann Smith and uh, Mayor Mike Smith and just all the good things that are going on here in, uh, in the city of Dothan, the, the county of Houston, and in Henry and Geneva uh, and the other counties in this area. It's just uh, it's great to be in the wire grass and it's you know, just such an important part of the state of Alabama. And even though I'm the state senator from Baldwin County, uh, you know, I represent the whole state, and I'm glad to be in uh, this part of the state this afternoon for a, a great event that's happening this, this evening down at the Civic Center. What are some things we can look forward to uh, next year on the general fund other than y'all don't have any money? Well, it's, you know, we have money. Uh, you know, the reality is is that, you know, the, 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 those, ba those black numbers on the page, that's somebody's hard work that people share with the state, not always with their will, but, you know, we have money. The question is, and the reality is, is that uh, the money we get uh, isn't necessarily enough because there's always more rules, more regulations, more requirements that come down from the federal government. But uh, be assured, we're going to make the money we have go as far as possible. I don't see there being any new taxes. Hopefully, we can maybe close a few loopholes, maybe uh, eliminate some unfair tax credits to uh, generate a little more revenue. But at the end of the day, uh, unlike Washington, we have to balance our budgets in Alabama, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Well, you've always been a friend of the community on education when you were on the education committee. Uh, what are some things that you'd like to tell the people of the Wiregrass area just about legislation, about what's coming up? Well, just primarily, you know, we need to make sure that when we have these money issues that we protect the Education Trust Fund. You know, education's about the future. Uh, we need to uh, make sure that we fully utilize and, and, and have the best education possible in our schools all across the state. But we need to make sure that we keep the money in the Education Trust Fund in the Education Trust Fund. Uh, the general fund is, uh, is important and we need to make sure and try to do what we can to better manage that money. Uh, and in some cases we may need some more revenue. But until we get some changes in Washington in terms of the rules and regulations, and certainly now we're mo I'm more optimistic that that may happen, uh, it's really difficult to say we need to raise our taxes uh, because we do have some capacity in this state. But it's very difficult to say let's raise taxes or let's put more money into government unless we can make sure that these, this, this extra money would make these programs sustainable. And right now, uh, what's been going on in Washington for the last eight years has made it very difficult for us to have a, get a good idea exactly how much it's going to cost us every year. So hopefully that change in Washington will help us uh, have a, a different environment and, and a different attitude that will help us to manage uh, the state's money better and uh, have a better future for all of us. Well, we appreciate you taking time of, of visiting our community and talking with our people and looking at what our needs are. Well, it's great to be in the Wiregrass and especially to be here uh, in the city of Dothan and the great job that uh, the council and uh, the Mayor Smiths are doing. It's uh, something to be proud of. Thank you. Thank you.